Robber's Roost is a remote area of southern Utah near Hanksville, a landscape of stark beauty, the contrast of the flat desert plain above against the expanse of slick rock and canyon dropping down to the Dirty Devil River. It's a harsh but wonderful place for self-sufficient camping and canyoneering. You can spend a full week in just one corner of the roost and still not exhaust your options. Buck Canyon is the westernmost drainage of the Robbers Roost Canyons. Buck is not a classic canyon, but is still a nice outing in a remote area where solitude is almost guaranteed. There is a lovely car camp option at the head of the West Fork. The typical route is to descend the West Fork, then return up the East Fork. A lovely campsite there, right on the rim of Buck Canyon's West Fork. There are a lot of tumbleweed in here, which could present a problem when we get to the narrows. Buck is mainly a hike with few technical obstacles. Having said that though, the tumbleweed adds greatly to the normal difficulties and the time required. Well, this could be a problem in Buck today. We're going to get tumbleweeded. It is so spiky and prickly. I figure we've reached the rappel because there's a big can down there which must be a dead man anchor. Oh, not best practice, but all we've done is wrap the rope around. We've tested it, it doesn't really pull up another. I've crushed a bit of the tumbleweed down there. So at least we can walk to the edge. Oh, it's looking back up the rappel and I landed in a pile of tumbleweed. The West Fork has just the one rappel. We decided to fix our rope in place, then collect it at the end of the day. Meaning we didn't need to carry the rope for the rest of the day. My goodness, we have to stop after every little section of tumbleweed to get the prickles out of our shoes and socks. When you watch on westerns, and you see the tumbleweed, you don't realise how prickly they are. little side branch just came into the creek. It's got narrow again. More tumbleweed which Mel will very cleverly be able to bridge and stem across with Ryan on her shoulders. Okay we've just reached a down climb and it looks like there's no tumbleweed down there. Old bolt in here as well. There's a really good handhold there. The lower part of the West Fork Narrows are quite nice, certainly worth a visit once. Nice section through here. Ah, this is a very nice bit. Proper slot canyon going through there. Ryan just came running back to tell me that there's a patch of tumbleweed as big as us. As you can see, Mel's trying to pick it down. Well, it looks like that's it. The canyon's going to open up, so we should be able to walk around any piles of tumbleweed from now on. Interesting rock formation. Maybe limestone stripes in the sandstone? about 10 minutes down from the slot. There's a bit of greenery starting. Lots of signs of cattle. Oh, we've reached the junction of the West Fork there and cutting across to the East Fork here. Going to go up the East Fork now, back to the car. 
Yeah, and straight away in this fork, there's an arch there on the left. There is another arch higher. It's a straightforward hike up the East Fork, easily bypassing a couple of short cliffs. Then you'll exit the Slick Rock and head cross country back towards your car. Buck Canyon offers a leisurely desert hike in solitude with a nice remote camp at its head. 